guys, it's Carly. Welcome to my channel. Um, for today's look, I'm kind of doing my everyday glowy makeup routine for fall. And to start off, I'm using my Benefits Professional Primer. This one is one of my favorites because it blurs my skin and kind of gets rid of any pores that I have. Um, and it looks really great under any kind of like foundation and tinted moisturizer. And for tinted moisturizer, I'm using the one from Laura Mercier. This one's in the shade Porcelain. Okay, so I know I'm kind of a weirdo for applying my tinted moisturizer this way, but this is just how I like to do it. Um, but this is one of my favorite tinted moisturizers I think I've ever tried. It makes my skin look so healthy and so glowy, which is like the goal here. And it also is super lightweight, which is great because I don't like the feeling of anything like too heavy and cakey on my face um, for like an everyday basis. And also this one has SPF 20, which is great. So I'm just kind of blending this everywhere. And also make sure you go down your neck, even though it's a tinted moisturizer, it really doesn't matter too much. I still like to do that so everything's, you know, even. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I usually take my beauty blender and kind of go over it just to make sure I don't have any lines on my face from the brush. Um, but yeah. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. This is one of my all-time favorite concealers, and it's from the drugstore, so it's super affordable. I usually like to apply my concealer underneath my eyes, my forehead, nose, chin, and I'll just go ahead and put it on my eyelids as well as like a primer for my eyeshadow. Um, this concealer is really buildable, and it does not look cakey at all. That's why I love it. And once I'm done applying that to my face, I'll just go ahead and blend it out with my beauty blender. So now I'm taking one of my favorite powders from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Pound Cake. This is a really good setting powder for underneath the eyes. It literally, like, nothing will crease whenever I use this. And it also does a really good job at blurring up my pores and making my skin look really smooth. <laughs> Okay, so to hydrate my lips, I'm using my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the berry one. I really love this stuff. It makes your lips feel really soft and very hydrated, and it also looks really good just on its own. I love this. Um, if you haven't tried it, you need to. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going in with the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is the light shade. Um, I really love this bronzer, especially for the winter when I'm a little bit more pale. So I'm just applying this all over my cheekbones and my forehead and down my neck and then I'll also go in with a smaller brush and kind of blend it down my nose just to make everything even. I don't really do like heavy contouring on an everyday basis but I do like to have some kind of dimension to my nose and this stuff works great for that. <laughs> So for blush, I'm going in with this baked blush from Milani. This is in the shade Petal Primavera. This is a really pretty everyday, like, rosy blush. Um, it's got a little bit of shimmer in it without being glittery, and it makes your skin look really healthy and glowy. So I'm just applying this on my cheeks and a little bit on top of my nose to kind of have that cute little, like, sunburnt look. I don't know. I just love that. And for highlighter, I'm going in with this one from Becca. This is in the shade Moonstone. These highlighters are literally so beautiful. They make your skin look so healthy and glowy. I absolutely love them. Um, so I'm just going to be taking this on the high points of my face and I will go in later with my beauty blender to kind of blend everything out a little bit more. For 
brows, I like to start out with a brow gel and this one that I'm using is the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Brown. And I like to go ahead and apply this first before I use a brow pen because it kind of acts as like a guide and allows me to use a little bit less product with a brow pen. And here I'm just kind of brushing my brows up and out. To actually fill in my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. Honestly, I'm so bad at explaining how I do my brows. It's different every time and it's kind of a love-hate relationship. I don't know if anybody else is like that, but I usually just kind of like make an outline on the bottom and on the top and then just fill in whatever needs to be filled in in between. If anyone is watching this and wants to see maybe like a more in-depth eyebrow routine, just let me know because I would love to do that for you guys. <laughs> Once I'm done curling my lashes, I'm going in with the matte shade Aura from the Tati Volume 1 palette. Love this palette. Um, I'm just applying that to my brow bone and then I'm also going to put some on my eyelids as well. After that, I'm going in with the matte soothe shade from the same palette and then i'm going to be applying that with a blending brush in my crease nothing too precise just kind of messy honestly and then making sure that when i get to the outer corner i'm kind of blending it up and out to kind of give me that elongated eye shape <laughs> So once I'm done blending that out, I'm taking the matte ritual shade from the Tati palette and I'm going to be using this as a liner for my top lash line. Um, so basically I just start from the middle of my eye and work my way to the outer corner and I kind of pat as I go just to kind of keep that pigment there and then I am going to wing it out. So I'm not really the best at explaining winged eyeliner and I'm definitely not the best at doing it but I basically just try to follow the angle that my lower lash line is going and then I just drag it up to the length that I want and then I'll just connect the end of that to the center of my lash line. Ryan Little. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm just doing a little winged eyeliner check to make sure it's okay for me to go out of the house later. But anyways, the next thing that I'm going to do is bring some of that same shadow on the inner, inner portion of my eye and kind of drag it a little bit downwards like we're doing the whole fox eye trend because I think it looks so good. It makes your eyes look very elongated and just 
snatched. I don't know. <laughs> To highlight, I'm going in with the Aura shade, but this time I'm using the shimmery version, and I'm just going to be putting that on the inner portions of my eye and a little bit on my brow bone as well. For my mascara, I'm going in with this one from Lancome. I love this mascara, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna be putting like two coats of this on and calling it a day. I don't really wear false eyelashes on an everyday basis, but they would definitely be so pretty with this look. So for my favorite part, I'm taking my Whirl Lip Pencil from MAC and my Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. So here I'm just kind of lightly defining my lips. I don't do anything too crazy on an everyday basis, um, but once I'm done with that, I'll just kind of blend it out with my finger and then apply my gloss. Ryan Little. <laughs> So that is pretty much it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, excuse me in the next clip. I'm super awkward. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye.